a Swiss Zen monk. What a strange thing. I was born and grew up raised in Switzerland in a Protestant city but also from my father's side very Catholic and then I went to a Japanese monastery And now, what am I? A little bit of Jesus, a little bit of Buddha. What is it really? We are looking for a meaningful life. And when I was young, I could only see dead corpses. So, when I was training in a Japanese monastery, all my values were torn away scattered into a thousand pieces and that is a very painful experience. All my identity, my belief system, not what I was, not my opinion. My opinion is just a fart in a letter bag. But your own belief system, system, I started to see when it was torn apart. And that was already too late. So when the foundation of your identity are gone, You're lost in a very dark place. So slowly, slowly, I learned a new system in Japan. New values. And as often, you replace one system with another. And you become like a radical. It's like a vacuum that you fill. And the Japanese monastery is like, it hasn't changed for four, three hundred years. So it's a very conservative place, very clear rules, very clear distinction between good and bad. So it felt very comfortable to have these new values after a very painful lost. So, and then when I met my teacher, he took this new system away. And it took me a while to understand because you cannot replace 
it's a very shallow and dangerous business. But what happened? So is the Buddha nature the same as the Holy Spirit? Like Buddha or Jesus, they couldn't find value anymore in the culture because culture is already dead. It's the, the bones from our fathers and mothers. So when you just adopt another system, you're still carrying around bones and dead corpses. It gives a relief for a short time because you're hiding under a different persona. So my teacher ripped this persona away and then I had nothing. It was nothing because he gave me everything. So the first gate I entered into nothingness and I took whatever to replace it. The second gate was into emptiness. One week ago, a couple came and I made uh, the wedding ceremony some years ago for this couple. And they called me, they need to talk. And it was kind of urgent. So they came to the monastery. We had some tea and coffee. And this couple had a big fight, a very big crisis. And A big fight. So the small details, small arguments became a war. Because everyone has his own history. Everyone has his own Family, tra family, family tradition. And they were fighting about values. Who is correct? I was raised this way. That's how I think it is correct. So they both were correct at the same time, but also wrong. And I asked them what they mean by to be a family.
because you cannot easily give up your value system that's very deep deep down it's part of your identity so when you take this away you will be not be the same so they were fighting over every detail discussing who should cook who should do the laundry who earns the money and of course they wanted to make it equal and they never could do a thing because they were fighting about who should do what which value system is the right one is it a mix a little bit of this a little bit of that like the old greek pantheon with a thousand different gods you fall back to an archaic mythology or is it one but which one yours or mine because when I was raised in this society individuality is very important so I cannot give up my belief. Otherwise, I have to give up myself. And then there's nothing. Everything becomes equal. It's just nothingness. For this young couple, it was a very tough time. How can they be possibly make new values? How come this Holy Spirit and Buddha nature thing is so important? What is it really? that is unique what is it that makes you a holy human i asked this couple how they arrange their finances and i asked them each how much does the family earn? That's a funny thing. Because some of my, of my friends, they got divor divorced. And usually the men are complaining that now the women got all the money. And one friend, I asked him the same. How much during the marriage, how much did you earn? He said, 6,000 bucks. Hmm. And how much do you earn now? He said, hmm, 6,000 bucks. So I replied, well, you never had a marriage. You just had a mistress. You paid her for giving birth to your children. It's like in the monastery. At the end, during the alms round, if you bring 20 kilos of rice or a lot of money or none, 
at the end of the month, maybe you get the pocket money. The rest all belongs to the monastery. Now this Christian, Protestant, Catholic, Zen monk, what is it? The old culture is dead. Replace it with an utopian idea, some fancy other culture. Or, like every young couple, how do we create our own values? What really is the Buddha nature? What is the Holy Spirit? Go back to the Greek. Worship thousand gods. If we do not look inside, re-examine deeper and deeper, we fall into history. And then everything becomes equal. Equality of outcome. That's actually, actually Sodom and Gomorrah. Everything belongs to everyone. Or that only one is correct. A total totalitarian thing. My two-year-old son, he smashes everything. When I ask him, what are you doing? He replies, I'm building stuff. I'm constructing things. My four-year-old replies, no, you're just smashing stuff. I am building a house. I am constructing a boat. Well, the two-year-old has a point. By smashing, he is building, making stuff. And the four-year-old has a point. He's taking the pieces the old pieces, the bones, and making stuff is like the dog chasing the mud bowl. But we want to become a tiger who bites the thrower. Either way, you fall into nothing. or into emptiness. How can you fall into emptiness where all is potential? The potential of new things, potential of a meaningful life. Otherwise, the mouse ate 
the cat's food. And the bowl is already broken. How can we not fall into a utopian paradise or into a totalitarian paradise? Let's re-examine very closely. There's a person who's always coming and going. Whether you are standing, sitting, sleeping, or lying. A person without name and rank. Let's check this guy out. Thank you very much. And take care of yourself your family and your friends. Thank you very much.